Hello, everyone. Uh, it's nice to see everyone again. See everyone again. To talk to you again. Um, had kind of a weird day. Uh, <laughs> what's new with you? Um, in the week since we've last seen each other, uh, let's see, I totaled my car that I just bought like five months ago. <laughs> And uh, the insurance company is dicking me around, so that's it's been fun today. The good news is uh, I have another car already on the way, so because I guess I guess the dealer found out I make a hundred thousand dollars an episode, so they extended me some more credit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that kind of put me in a in a funk a little bit, and I thought, you know what? It's Tuesday. Let's continue with Johnny Connecticut. And you guys know how much I like whining about shit in my life. If it weren't for bad luck. <laughs> it all worked out. Sort of. Kind of. Anyway. So where we last left our lovers. Um, Johnny S. And Billy. They were talking about some boring ass football shit. And let me say this. This is third times usually the charm with me. This is the third time I'm making this fucking video. The first time I was reading and reading and reading and I was like, this is really familiar. And I realized for 40 minutes I was reading shit we'd already read. And I couldn't put you guys through that again. It was so boring. <laughs> the football talk and the blazing and the boo and the mom dukes and the like, I just was so fucking done. Um... I did have a nice, enjoyable nature walk, and it was very brisk. <laughs> the fall weather was very brisk, uh, and then it started raining. So now we're back inside. I'm sorry you didn't get to enjoy um, the rerun. <laughs> Why do I do this? <laughs> then the second time um, I was making the video, and um, the car place decided that would be a good time to text me some shit. And I decided I didn't want like all my personal information on the internet. So <laughs> well, let's continue with this. Um, <clears throat> I am going to say, I'm going to take a break from before we really start here. I'm going to, I'm going to take a break from Lauren for a while. I, I'm so fucking learned out. Uh, I'm not going to go away from it completely, but I mean, it's ingrained. It's in my blood. I can't do anything about that. Um, but I'm just, I'm just so over him right now. That's not to say that you should be <laughs> because frankly, there are many more superior content creators to I, much better content creators doing Lauren stuff. It's a Lorne renaissance, and I encourage you uh, to check that out. He's exploded all over the internet. He's exploded all over our faces. Um, but as for me, re now, um, it's all about Johnny Connecticut, and I will be streaming Thursday. I'm going to make some changes um, just based on the feedback. Um, I'm going to try to make it, God, I sound like a dope trying to talk about this because I don't even know how to do it yet. <laughs> I'm going to try to fix this thing so I can make money on the internet and you click this thing for information. Uh, that's, <laughs> I, I'm going to try to enable the super chats so that the donations aren't as intrusive. Uh, I realize when it's just me on a stream, it's, it's manageable. Uh, when I have a guest, like I did every day last month, uh, it can be a little intrusive. And that's not to say I don't appreciate the donations. Um, you guys donated a lot of money um, for charity. Uh, and I'm going to be uh, doing those donations and posting the amounts and um, where they're going so that you guys can see that and, and make sure that you know I'm really doing that. <laughs> Didn't just, you know, make it up and say, hey, give me money for charity. <laughs> you know, like, oh, Lauren. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> if anybody has questions about that, um, please ask. Uh, but I am looking to make some changes like that so that uh, if you'd like to donate, you can still do that. It just, 
um, won't mess up the flow like when I have a guest, uh, which I'm definitely looking to do more of that. Um, and so that everybody can participate, uh, but it keeps, keeps the flow of the stream going nicely, uh, if that makes sense. And again, that's not to say I, I sincerely appreciate everyone that donated um, during Laurent, uh, the most, well, the first, I say the most recent, but the first donation um, I posted was to St. Jum. And um, it came out to $109.60, I think, something like that. So with all that boring stuff out of the way, um, let's get started. John Santoro. <laughs> I think this is kind of where we left off. John Santoro and Bailey are young lovers, are blazing hot lovers. Um, let me go back one. Uh, okay. Okay. So it makes sense what's happening. The dude I'm playing has Seattle defense, so I need the Bears to score like 40 points. Whoa! Lol, ah, boo, I'll be happy if they get a touchdown. I want to come up with a sound for that face. That, ah! <laughs> what you doing? Just chilling, watching TV? Yeah, I'm finishing an essay for English. You know, because I'm a child that's in school and has to write essays. Nice. Okay, I don't want to bother you while you're doing work. You aren't. It's kind of like we're hanging out watching the game and I'm doing homework. Gross. Gross. Two adults talking to each other, pretending to be children. Well, he's not pretending. I mean, he's pretending to be younger than he is, but he's not pretending. He's just talking like a moron. You, you still chilling in your room, boo? In his room, like, he's, what, 40 or 60? Does he live with his mom, Dukes? <laughs> mom, Dukes. I, I don't know why I hate that so much. It's just so stupid. I've heard that independent of this chat. I've heard that phrase, not in a long time. So I know at some point, maybe kids said that, but... I'm not the definitive authority on that by any means, believe me. Uh, yup, haha. Well, waxing, chilling, baby. Bop, the bop face, bop. Lol, I need to stop watching this game. I finished watching my, I finished my essay and saw it misspelled my last name. Who the fuck does that? Ha ha ha. It's, I spelled it Anderson. Ha ha. Whoa. My last name is Anderson. I don't know if I told you that. You all done with your work, baby? Pretty much, boo. Okay, good. Okay, boo. I want to go back to 20 questions. Is that cool with you? You know, we've been talking all last night till wait and all day today. Bah. Yep. Bah. <laughs> ha ha. Yeah, want to play 20 questions, winky. Bah. Okay, me first. And can we ask anything and got to answer honestly? Will it bother you if I'm a school nerd? Like, my grades are important to me. Yes, ask and answer honestly. So she's a school nerd. Her grades are important to her. Because she's a child who is in school. who Someone with whom he has no business speaking in the manner in which he's speaking to her. Okay, no, it won't bother me at all. I hope you all, honestly, because I'd want you to be I'd, the way he spells I'd. Good, because I really am one. Hmm. Good. Your turn. I, I can't. <laughs> Whoa. Well, um, you don't have to, Lowell. I just like learning more about each other. Lowell, I got lots of questions, boo. So do I. Whoa. So are you thinking at all eventually of being my girl? And would you? What the fuck is wrong with these guys? Are you thinking at all eventually of being my girl? And would you? Hold on. I gotta let Theo out. I had to go in my bedroom because Nicholas is on the phone with a girl. Don't tell him I told you that. But I didn't want to be intrusive. 
<laughs> um, and I think he would have a hard time explaining to, and I know this girl, she's not just, it's not Bailey. He's, he's out there talking to Bailey right now, which would be more age appropriate. Um, so I, I thought it would be difficult for him to explain to Bailey what I was doing, but actually I've, I've known this young lady for a long time. She's a very nice girl. Um, I think it's his girlfriend, but he won't tell me. <laughs> He probably said to her, so are you thinking at all eventually of being my girl and would you? I would die if I walked out there. But see, Nicholas, his game is much better than Johnny, Johnny Santoro. So anyway, because he's my kid. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about it. Yeah, I would if you'd want me to be. Ma! Ma! Of course, of course I would. Of course I would. Dopey ass fucking face. If Johnny Connecticut were an emoji, it would be this one right here at the top. After he says, of course I would. If this thing just had like some greasy hair on top and some wrinkles around the eyes, that would be the Johnny Connecticut emoji. Of course I would. Your turn. What would a super fan, what would a super fun night be to you? Go out somewhere nice and have fun, like to a game or go to Times Square or mini golf, bowling. Then I'll walk on the beach with you and kiss you all night under the stars. Wow, blazon! That's what it is, blazon! That would be seriously awesome night. Yeah, it would. Your turn. What's one thing you want to do with a guy that you never done? I mean, anything. I'm not saying it had to be sexual. Sex, sexual, sexual, ha ha, it's the modern day equivalent of lol, ha ha, these guys turn it so quickly, well, I mean, <clears throat> of course they turn it so quickly to sexual things, and he doesn't mean that, it doesn't have to be sexual, he, that's where he wants it to go, and they do that because they're not interested in these young ladies as actual, you know, like, how a certain person says kids can fall in love even if they could they're not interested in that they're not interested in an actual relationship because that would be ludicrous and ridiculous build a snowman and kiss him by a fire not the snowman he'd melt whoa your turn whoa what is the most extreme sport you do or have done i gotta give this decoy credit like this is probably to me I can't I don't know if this is more boring than Lauren's because at least they talk about different shit than just you want to see it you want your nightly look at it um but she has to sit here and come up with this 20 questions bullshit and pretend like she's interested in the answers and call him handsome she called him beautiful and you just called me handsome um so I got to give her a little bit of credit. What's, what is the most extreme sport you do or have done? Football. Oh, wait. I do skiing. I do skiing. Hey, do you do skiing? I love to do skiing. I do skiing every weekend at Liberty. <laughs> have you ever skied? Nope. Woo. Me either. You're up. Oh, one into a twee. Ha ha. K. Oh, well. But I'd be scared shit to go down a mountain. Ha ha. Scared I'd break my legs. Whoa. I'm not running into trees, but I kind of want to jump out of a plane skydiving. Oh, hell no. Ha ha. I'm thinking of what I was just going to ask. Damn. Whoa. Ha ha ha. Bleh. <laughs> Bleh. <laughs> okay, what's your night of... What's your night of a fun night with a guy? God. What's your night of a fun night with a guy? A fun night would be going to get food because yum. And then if the guy was someone I was really into, go to the beach, talk, hold hands, and hope he wants to kiss me. Lol. Does that sound dumb? Does what sound dumb? Lol. My fun night. Lol. I didn't get a text. I forgot about that. I, for 
forgot about text. Didn't get a text. How can you be an adult man and not know how to spell tomorrow? I can understand misspelling tomorrow, maybe leaving out one of the R's. Uh, I've seen it. I've seen it spelled a few different ways that I can kind of understand, but he spells it T O M O R Tamar. Text. That's like Lauren. And see, this is why I told you I can't. I just I can't stay away com- completely. Like <laughs> one of the funniest facts about Lauren that I found out recently <laughs> is that when he says faults. You're always finding fault with me or you're always pointing out my faults. He thinks it's he thinks it's false. F A L S E false. Why are you always pointing out my faults? How can you be an adult and not know that it's not text? It's text. T E X T. I didn't get a text of what it is. Whoa. I just got the text you asking if that's dumb. Well, OMG, it was like a novel. It didn't come through. Oh, okay. First get food because food is awesome. M. <laughs> then if I really wanted to, to get to know him, go to the beach and sit on the sand, hold hands, talk, and hope he'd want to kiss me. That actually sounds really nice. Like just sitting, getting to know someone, holding their hand. Um, as long as they're not a child and you're an adult. If you're a child, um, first of all, if you're a child, stop watching this video. Stop it. You shouldn't be watching this. This is not for you. Second of all, <laughs> you probably have homework or a room to clean or something like that. Go do that. Um, if you're an adult. Don't take walks with children and hold their hands and hope that they want to kiss you. Um, that's it. I definitely, oh, blazing. I definitely like that. Smiley. Okay, your turn, baby. Do you like to be a romantic guy or just chill? Her happy. I think we're missing something, but. Romantic, deaf. I love to chill too, but I like to be romantic with the girl and show her that I care about her and am feeling her and make her happy. There we go. I done figured it out. So, okay, don't laugh because I'm in this context. Um, do you like to be a romantic guy or just chill? Does that mean, do you like to, to be a romantic guy or do you just like to like bang? Is that... Is that in this context? Is that what that means? I don't know because I don't, um, I don't chill <laughs> with anyone. I, you know, I hang out with people. I don't know what that means. Um, lest you think Babsby has no, uh, social life. Please don't think that I do. Indeed. Um, blazing your turn, boo. I liked your answer. Like how quickly I move on from that. Your. Ah, she corrected herself. You know what? I'm liking Bailey more and more and more. I wasn't even going to point out the you are turn, boo. But she corrected herself. Blazon. What do you want mine and your first night together to be like? I want it to be your idea. I want to see what you'd like to do and how much you'd think about it. Blazon. Your turn. What is your favorite food to eat? Hmm, Italian, deaf. Yeah, that sounds good. It's like 5.02. You can see by my screen, it's 5.02. It's almost the dinner hour, and I'm getting hungry. I do have a gobbler. <laughs> I have a gobbler in the fridge. At Wawa, they make these sandwiches. If you don't have a Wawa near you, you are really missing out. I'm sorry about that. It's like a convenience store, <clears throat> but they make food. And I got the munchies last night, so I got, um, you can get these big sandwiches, and I got, it's called a gobbler. <laughs> it's just a turkey, it's a hot turkey sandwich with gravy, and I have half of it. <laughs> I also have a panini in there. Um, Italian, yeah, I like that. What color are your eyes? See, guys, I, I, 
I sort of prefaced this video with what I, the shit I had been dealing with earlier today to explain how I was going to completely go off track at certain points. So now you know. Um, what color are your eyes? Brown. What about yours? And yum to a fat Italian food. Hazel. But they change white greenish too. Whoa. I bet they look beautiful. I can't wait to be close enough to show you. Okay, are you a health freak? And I can't wait to see them. Not a freak, but yeah, wait to stay healthy and in shape. <laughs> yeah, we could tell. We could tell. You work, you must work out. <laughs> that enormous sweatshirt. Take off that enormous sweatshirt and let's see that bod. <laughs> Dressed to the nines. <laughs> So I ate a bowl of Apple Jacks and a Snickers bar for dinner. So if I ate a bowl of Apple Jacks and a Snickers bar for dinner, would you be like, oh, and gee, Bailey, like, what the fuck? Ha ha ha. No, you better have some Apple Jacks for me. I'd say, ha ha. I love Twix. Hmm, yum. You know why he likes tricks, guys? You know why he loves tricks? Because tricks are for kids. <laughs> I'm done. Twix are for kids, and so is Johnny C. <laughs> this is the worst video I've ever made. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God, that was terrible. Ha ha. I'd share with you, boo. I know. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are yummy, too. Okay. I think I took two turns, lol. I, li I like Apple Jacks, okay? I don't like tricks. You know what? This is like what a weird person I am. My favorite cereal, like if I could only eat one kind of cereal, it would be Frosted Mini Wheats. Those are my favorite. I'm also like one of those weirdos that likes grape nuts. <laughs> They're like really good for you, but I put like a, like a cup of sugar on them. <laughs> I like grape nuts. They're crunchy. I like them. They cut your mouth up. One time I had to tell this story about Kayla. Um, I'll tell it now. It's not that long. When Kayla was little, <clears throat> um, my she spent a lot of time with my mom, her grandmother, because I was a um absent parent. No, I'm just kidding. She did spend a lot of time with my mom. They had a very close relationship. Um, and my mom would buy like this Kashi cereal. She liked, my mom liked to eat, she liked to eat, but she would try to eat like healthy things and she would buy this Kashi cereal and Kayla was probably six or seven and she was complaining to my mother. She's like, I don't like this cereal, it, like cut my mouth and it's gross, like eating cardboard. And my mother, um, with the thought of teaching Kayla, you know, something practical in life says, you know what, let's sit down and you can write a letter to the cashy cereal company, <laughs> whoever makes it and tell them, you know, I, you know, I don't like your cereal. It's this and it cut my mouth. And I just thought you'd be interested to know how I, the six year old consumer feels about your healthy cereal. So Kayla writes this letter all by herself and tells the cashy cereal company, <laughs> you know, about their cardboard. And, you know, no hate to Kashi. I don't like Kashi, but I eat grape nuts. So, you know, what, who, what the fuck, who am I to talk about anything? But um, she sends this letter out. And because my, my mom is saying, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, they'll send you a refund or they'll, you know, send you something for free or <laughs> so... A couple of weeks later, Kayla gets a letter from the cereal company and enclosed her coupons for more Kashi cereal. <laughs> she was so mad about that. <laughs> Dear Kashi cereal, your fucking cereal sucks. My mouth is bleeding. I have to fill my mouth to fill my mouth with toilet paper to staunch the bleeding from the cuts of my mouth. What are you going to do about this? Enjoy some free Kashi cereal. 
Anyway, if you've watched this far into the video, I thank you for that. Um, this has been a mess. Uh, let's go. Let's go a little longer. Uh, oh, those are yummy too. Okay, I think I took two turns. Lol. <laughs> Lol. Okay, my turn. Trying to think of a good one. No more easy ones. Ha ha ha. Winky. <laughs> he he he. Ask away. Can I ask you one personal sexual question? Or oh, nah, baby. Sexual. Oh, you fucking creep. Sure. Has a guy ever pleased you and made you come? Not really. It just never lasted very long. So is this, is this what he was referencing when he says, I was just playing with her. I was just... I don't know, trying to see where she was at. Is that mean to say? Nah, no, that's all. That's sad for them, because you have to please the girl and make her come. What? Shake my head. I was only with one guy, really, my ex. He's the only one you had sex with? Yeah. I've had sex with three girls, honestly. <laughs> I wonder if that's true. That's probably true. I think he has a kid. But I could be wrong. I, I Believe me, I don't do any kind of fucking research beyond, you know, Googling something. So I could believe that. There were probably three drunk girls that would have sex with him. I've had sex with three girls, honestly. Wow, really? Okay. Have you ever been married before? No, never married. Whoa. I was with my ex for a while. And was only having sex with her. And she was my third. What's the longest you were in a relationship? Five years. Then she cheated. And I caught her ass out. Ha ha. Her name was Paula. <laughs> Doesn't say that. I said, Paula! Can I ask what happened? Why it ended? Or is that too personal? Oh, well, never mind. Whoa. I said, peace. I'm out. Whoa. She lost a really amazing man. Do you have Facebook? Yup. Her lost is white. I'd never... Her lost is right. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, guys. I don't know how much longer I can do this. Her lost is white. I'd never cheat for wheel. That shit is fucked up. Wheel talk. Like, I call her ass in the act. Kissing the dude... And just about to fuck. Whoa. That's really mean. I never cheated. And I don't think he did. But he lied about a lot. He lied about a lot. People are bugged out. Ha ha. Is the modern day equivalent of buggy. People are buggy. My neighbors are buggy. People are bugged out. Ha ha. We still doing the questions. Whoa. Yeah. Well, I've been asking. Me too. Whoa. Okay. Whose turn? Ha ha. You probably didn't get the mmm. Lol, unless you're done. We can talk about whatever, boo. Nah, not at all. I know, baby. You're the bomb. You know that? The bomb. The bomb diggity. I really love getting to know you, boo. You're straight up awesome. So are you, baby. Mwah. Thank you. Blazing. Okay, your turn. You will really drive me crazy for you. Mwah! Ha ha! Really? Okay, my turn. Hmm. OMG, you're making me smile so big. Yes, Willie. Really. OMG. Ha ha! And since the bears are getting their asses kicked, you're the only thing making me smile. I'm glad you're smiling. Whoa! Because you drive me quay quay for you. Like you say it. Ha ha. Yes, they are. Whoa. My mom hasn't stopped saying fuck since the second half. Whoa. Weak. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Mwah. Ah, as I sigh and say, what am I going to do with you, baby? Ha ha ha. Oh, my God. I don't know, boo. Ha ha. And there's some flowers and... Like children crossing the street and a heart. 
Aw, thank you for the flowers, boo. And a bunch of fucking hearts. A wed woes for you, baby. Thank you, boo. I love those. Mwah. This has been one of the best weekends I've had in a long time. Wow. Your weekends suck. Your weekends really suck, Bailey. Um, wow, I feel badly for you. Me too. I'm glad I met you. I'm glad I met you too. Because I'm really feeling you. Thank you for spending so much time with me and letting me get to know you. I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling you too. Real talk. You don't have to thank me. I wanted to. And glad you did too. I did for sure. But seriously, I picked up the phone a ton of times to text you and then just put it down. I didn't know if you really wanted to text or was just being nice. And I didn't want to look like I was going to bug you. Sweating me. Whoa! Thank God. Why are you sweating me, boo? You're blazing. That's why I'm sweating. Well, don't. Ha ha. I won't stuff then I'll waste it. Because I don't want you to think I'm quingy and hounding and hounding you. And you be like, this dude needs to stop. This dude needs to stop. Laughing my ass off. I did the same thing. Laughing my ass off. Weak. Ha ha. That's funny. For sure. Ha ha. We both thinking the same shit and feeling the same way with each other. Whoa. Okay. So since I know you more, my name is Bailey Anderson. My dad is English and Irish. My mom is Mexican and Salvadoran. I love Mexican food. I miss California. And you're the best thing I've seen about Connecticut. Blazing. I'm 13, but my parents both made me grow up fast. I'm pretty mature, and I love having fun. My parents divorced last year, but I got over it. So yeah, that's me letting you learn about me too, boo. Yeah, you told me you're a waste on Whisper. And I told you I'm French, Italian, and some American Indian. Mwah. You miss Cowie a what? You ever going back to live? I know. I'm recapping, boo. Lol, like the highlights. No, I don't think so. Ha ha ha. You're a twip. My mom likes her job too much. Okay. I think we're going to have to stop there. We're on 151 of 489. Thank you guys for letting me spend this time with you. I actually feel a lot better than I did when I started. I was feeling pretty bleh. But I always feel better after we um, goof on these morons. Let me just point out, um, I actually got grossed out. Like, all this, there isn't a whole lot of sexual bullshit. But she's saying all these things. And then, I'm 13, but my parents both made me grow up fast. I don't care if... You know, when I was 13, I had to help care for my sister, who's 10 years younger than I am. Um, I had to make dinners, and my mom worked a lot. And th- this isn't like a sob story, like, feel bad for Bob's face. She has so much bad shit in her life. Um, so I had to, quote unquote, grow up fast. But at 13, I was still a child. A 40-year-old man would have no business trying to date me just because I had to take on a lot of responsibilities when I was 13. Uh, So to me, it just makes him extra gross in my mind for some reason. Like, he just doesn't even react to it. He doesn't say anything about it. It doesn't matter to him. He just wants to get laid, and it doesn't matter. I don't know if this guy has a preference for kids. I don't know beyond this chat or the handsome versus predator shit. I don't know a lot about this guy. I don't know if he's an opportunist or he was actually seeking a child. But when you read something like that, it really hits you in the face, man. This is a kid. You've been talking all this time to a kid. Just because you, quote unquote, talk like a kid, (laughs) which you don't, you talk like an idiot. Um, it doesn't make you able to date a 13 year old. Just, just saying. Um, anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. I'll see you guys. Hopefully 
uh, I'll see you guys Thursday. I'm trying to get all my shit squared away. Um, I don't know what I'm, what I'm going to do. I, I'm planning some true crime stuff. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, but it'll be a surprise because I don't even fucking know right now. I'm having trouble letting you go, letting go of your voice right now. But I really do have to go. I'm going to go make some food. Mmm, gobbler. Bye, sweethearts.